Hi, I'm Jeff Easton, executive producer and creator of White Collar. Hi, I'm Matt Nix, creator and executive producer of Burn Notice and the inspiration behind White Collar. Not true. Okay, for the record, I already hate everything about this. We met actually when Matt had just shot the pilot for Burn Notice and they realized they had a train wreck. <laughs> we share both a network and a studio. Yeah, we're both on USA Network. So we are sort of like sister shows, or actually, I Burn Nose would be the brother show, and, and White Collar would be more the sister show. Mm -hmm. He's going to be impossible after this. Burn Notice is a big action show. We explore how far somebody's willing to go to do what they think is the right thing. And White Collar is similar in that there's a lot of, like, nice coats. See, accessories make the outfit. We blow things up, big exciting stuff happens. We have lots of hot girls running around in bikinis, and their show just seems to be two really good looking guys standing around talking. Saving America's youth from a life of crime. Yeah, we're a regular after school special. The characters on White Collar, as I understand it, work in the banter division of the FBI. She? No, I don't. But fine. People in offices talking, and people at home talking, and people in hotels talking, and people outside hotels talking, and people inside hotels talking. I can get going. You're done. The action on White Collar. I actually watched an episode which consisted literally of one character poking another character with a stick. Hold on, Mike, this sounds dangerous. You get stuntmen to do that? How does that work? Don't make a scene. We need stunt coordinators for anything beyond the handshake. <laughs> right. Oh, you guys have more fun than we do. Jeffrey Donovan is a handsome leading man, very strapping. He can do martial arts, and he's dark, and uh, he's a bad boy and Matt Bomer has a wonderful smile. I think he looks good in hats. And occasionally shirtless. Neil Kyrie's the kind of guy that can tell you if a painting is real or not. Michael Weston's the kind of guy that can break into the facility where the painting is held, tie up security, tell you whether or not the painting is real or fake, and then kick everyone else's ass on the way out. You really want me to shoot someone, don't you? So Neil Caffrey and uh, Michael Weston meet up in a dark alley. Before we get the question out, mm -hmm. Michael Weston has kicked his ass. Are you crying? Looks like you're crying. Like Michael Weston and Neil Cap. Okay, it's over. I don't cry. I'll give you that one. All right. How about if we kick his ass first and then we call the cops? We'll see. Sam Max is this fantastic kind of beer swilling, crime fighting, Michael Weston palling around dude. Also a ladies' man of sorts. Hey. <laughs> Mozzie, I think he went shoe shopping with Sarah Jessica Parker like a bunch of times. You know, I'm sensing your heart isn't totally into this. I think if you needed someone to fight alongside you, it would probably be Sam. Sounds like you know him. If you needed someone to sort of complain or, or fetch about things. Do you have any idea what happens if I ingest even the slightest essence of dairy? That would really be more uh, Mozzie. He's kind of a smug little brat. By extract, I assume you mean torture, interrogate, and execute? On Burn Notice, like, the women in the show have stuff to do. I kind of like it, actually. Gabrielle Lamar's character, Fiona. We're going in and we're fighting. She's carrying a gun. Five of them, three of us. It's almost a fair fight. Tiffany plans parties, <laughs> and Gabrielle gets taken hostage at them. Well, that's evil. Tiffany Amber Thiessen's on white collar. She's doing some of her best work. I haven't seen her in that form since uh, Saved by the Bell. Who is this guy? I think whenever people watch an FBI show, they wonder, what's that guy's wife doing while he's solving this crime? I would be lying if I said I didn't worry about him. And you answer that question. For better or for worse. Good work, everyone. We're closing in. Whoever cracks this identity theft ring on the Upper East Side wins this. Like Juanico Penn. I think white collar crime is fundamentally interesting in and of itself. The problem is, is that usually the guys that do white collar crime aren't that dangerous. Bonds. James Bonds. We deal with drug dealers on our show. We deal with, you know, gun runners and international assassins. They deal with guys that make paper different colors. No, don't turn that paper into other paper. The never ending number of white collar crimes. Let's see, they'll be able to do like check forgery, art forgery, money forgery, and embezzling. Sorry, I just dozed off. That's four storylines. As four opposed to Burn <laughs> Notice, which has one, which is my daughter slash wife slash son was kidnapped. Now is not the time to write checks that you can't cash. When you were a little girl, did you think, I want to grow up someday and make a show about a music box? Girls got to make a living. I'm wondering 
And what all of the <laughs> fans of White Collar are wondering is, what's next, man? Is it ballet shoes? I like it, in theory. You've been after the Dutchman almost as long as you were after me. I'll help you catch him. When I saw the pilot of White Collar, my first thought was, man, that looks good. I thought it was pretty amazing, I have to say. Nice. Pretty amazing. It was one of the best pilots I'd ever seen, and my thought was, I would watch this show. Very good. Yeah. I looked at the Bird Notice pilot when I wrote mine, um, and I called Matt several times. I mm -hmm. called you, and we talked about character, we talked about plot, and I used a lot of those lessons. So, you know, I don't, I don't think White Collar would be the show it is without your input. Is this your way of thanking me for saving your hides? It was actually a real pleasure to do that because I could see that show and, and know that, except for the music box thing, um, <laughs> you were all set. Generous gesture. 